Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Jose Flores here. Um, what a brand new DC episode podcast. Today's news topic is going to be uh, DC's DC's Avengers Endgame, Warner Brothers plan, um, Crisis event, superhero movie. Ooh, I know what that means. Here's a few things of uh, topics of the of the events of the upcoming future projects for DC. Uh, this is what it's going to say here. So let me read, read you guys here a little bit of those topics. Okay, I have a few here. Let me see. Oh, DC has been trying to get get its, its own cinematic, cinematic uh, universe of, of the ground since 2013's Man of Steel. In an attempt to replace the MCU's incredible success, Marvel Studio has only continued to grow in those in those years have have haven't been i mean haven't been released many su- successful movies i mean i know marvel is doing good right now but hey marvel has a lot of movies ahead of us so why not dc you know i mean marvel marvel, marvel has so many movies right now have planned out um, for the upcoming future and stuff like that and that's awesome but i'm not a big fan of marvel you know but what the heck you know yeah <laughs> Um, several blockbuster crossover events most that apply the record-breaking Avengers in game. Mm-hmm. Crossover event events have always proven to be a major piece of the comic book puzzle. When it comes to both Marvel and DC, the farm the farmers' best known events include the Alexa to Civil War, the Infinity the Infinity uh, Secret Wars, the Avengers vs X Men. Oh, that's pretty cool. Imagine the Avengers versus the X Men group. Oh man, that'd be a whole different story. Oh my God, that'd be like, I don't know, that'd be mind blowing. I would not see that. I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's this right here. Several of these, several of these famous DC storylines have already been bought to the screens to the C the C C W S Arrowverse. Which annually brought together its many shows into the major crossovers. Ooh, that's pretty cool. After more than five years of build of five shows and countless heroes came together in 2019 for Crisis of on Infinite Earth, a moto a moto moto moti rose multiverse. I'm sorry, guys, I can't speak. Uh, because of my teeth, I got some braces on. <laughs> Dreading an, an event of reveals the sequel of an event in Avengers Endgame. Oh, pretty cool. Avengers, Avengers Endgame. That's pretty cool. Many are eager to see an event on the scale ad- adapt into the DCEU, especially after the future of the franchise of the first crossover attempt to the 2017's Justice League. Well, it seems that they may be part of the vision for the TCU, or at least it was before one of the brothers was purchased by Dis- by Discovery. Ooh, by Discovery. That's by, like, one of the brothers Discovery, HBO Max, stuff, or something like that. Oh, wow. Okay, according to a recent report from the, from the Hollywood Reporter, DC Films President Walter Hermada intended to build toward an application of Crisis on Infinite Earth in the TCU before Warner Brothers Discovery uh, merger lead to change the management at the studio. They always do that. What do you guys the studios prefer prefer prefers the notes? You know, the studios, actors, um, like the studios, people who work in the studio. Why they just don't leave them, like, leave them alone, you know? It's stupid. What's the point of doing that? I don't get it how the studios don't leave the movies alone. Okay, this is what Wacha Hamada has to say. Uh, Wacha Hamada was bought in 2018 to take the charge of the DCU after Zack Snyder's uh, vision for the franchise fell apart in the wake of 2017's Justice League. Ooh, that changed a lot. I, re- I remember that way back in the day. Uh, the, the studio's president's vision was said to include three to four DC movies releasing annually. It's unclear how the change of the management will affect these plans moving forward. Damn. So that means right there, it tells you the Water Hamada. I guess yeah, like plans, plans before, like like the DC ahead of the, the future projects, you know, but they keep changing them. They keep changing them. I don't know what's up with their asses. I mean, why just leave the movies alone? It's the studio. 
what is, what is the, what is the up to the studio like to release those films early or or late you know but i don't know i mean dc is dc dc movies always been the best since day one um since batman and batman and robin that's that's fucking awesome i enjoyed batman and robin with mr freeze and arnold schwarzenegger remember that's pretty cool see that's how that's how DC started way back in nineteens and animations, live actions, whatever. DC has always been DC for since since day one. But hey, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna be ahead of us over the next future and the future plans, the next few years. Um, I don't know. But there's still plenty of DC movies coming out in the next coming years, the next coming months. But hey. We just gotta be patient, guys. But that's how DC it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how this shit works about the studios I mean, with DC and stuff like that. But that's that's up to them. You be the judge. That's up to that's up to them. So, I mean, I don't know. That's all I gotta say about this little breakdown <laughs> for you guys. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. Um, peace out, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll be up up. Updating on you guys for DC updates news like this and you know see what happens <laughs> all right peace out don't forget to like and subscribe thank you